My previous two videos have been quite simple. They show that enterprise data integration needs revolutionizing and that the first key to the revolution, the graph, is built for that job. If you've not seen the graph video, I encourage you to stop now and watch that one first. The second key to unlocking the data revolution is a bit harder to get your head around. It's even got a complex name, decentralization. Broadly speaking, you can order complex systems in one of three ways. Firstly, you have no order at all, a disordered system with no rules or laws. We can think of this as the wild, wild west, where you can do whatever you want. Yeehaw! Secondly, you have the highly centralized command and control systems, where all instructions are issued from the center. Think of the former USSR or perhaps even Skynet from the Terminator movie. Finally, there are decentralized systems, where a universally agreed upon set of standards allows everyone to organize things amongst themselves competing and collaborating with each other within a common framework. There's a story that might help explain this a little better. An official traveled from the former USSR to learn about the free market because despite years of hard work by a team of talented experts, the Russian people still had to queue for their bread. Anyway, after traveling around London all day, he finally asked to see who was in charge of bread supply. He was desperate to meet this man and learn his great secret. Of course, in London, there was no one in charge of bread supply. Within a regulated market, companies compete and collaborate with each other, and an optimised bread supply chain spontaneously arises. Think about this for a second. The complexity was just too great for a small team of people to hold in their heads. Or, as my son put it when I was explaining to him earlier, even Einstein couldn't run the whole of the world inside his head. Whereas in a decentralized system, responsibility is distributed amongst the individual companies and a very optim optimized supply chain simply arises out of thin air. Now, returning back to data, when it comes to data, most enterprises operate in some form of the wild, wild west mode. Applications exchange data in a hodgepodge of different formats and in multiple different ways. From a high level perspective, the whole thing forms a disordered nightmare. Ask your IT systems, IT guys, for a meaningful overview of the data flow from just one department. And the diagram you get back will show you exactly what I mean. Moving on to centralized systems then. Now, to be honest, I find something a bit creepy about the centralized uh, model. But looking at the centralized data integration within large enterprises, scary efficiency really is the last concern on the list. It doesn't seem to matter what you put in the center, be it a data warehouse, a data lake, or a graph. The centralized model just can't seem to link more than a very small percentage of the company's overall information. And if you think about it, it kind of makes logical sense. <clears throat> it's like the, the USSR guys trying to plan the bread supply. There is just no way that a central store can pull and organize data from thousands upon thousands of different applications, most of which are highly complex in their own right. Here is the bottom line. After 20 years of solid effort, the centralized approach is still not working. The AI revolution is already unfolding around us and the clock is ticking. I think perhaps it may be time to pivot. In a decentralized data mesh, applications would publish and consume their data according to a standard structure. The data stays where it is within its database, but it's exposed in a standardized layer. It is published rather than pulled, and the individual applications are then responsible for linking to one another. In this way, 
responsibility for the data integration is pushed down into the applications themselves, who, after all, are experts in their own data and already know about their connections with one another. So let's ask a question. Hypothetically, could a decentralized model connect most of an enterprise's data together? Well, <clears throat> imagine for a second that you are the CEO of a large enterprise and you say, within the next six months, all applications must publish their key data in this standard structure and then link to each other. This is my top priority. Make it happen. Could the resulting effort integrate most of the company's data together into a unified whole? I think it could. It would be rough and messy at first, but if you set up the right, for want of a better word, internal data market, then the motor of decentralization should fire up. Applications compete and collaborate with each other and a clean and connected data layer arises. What do you think? If responsibility were pushed down to the individual applications and their respective IT teams, could optimized data integration emerge within your company? I'll leave you to think through that. Okay, taking a breath now, and having looked at decentralization, we can turn back to the more intuitive concept of graphs, because, of course, the standard data structure that we would ask the applications to publish in are those simple three-part statements that I introduced in my last video. So the IT team uh, for sales uh, publishes the sales-related data in these three-part statements. And at exactly the same time, the product teams and client teams do the same. And then where a uh, given sale links to a given product, these applications are responsible for making those links. From a higher level perspective, these statements then combine together and form this highly distributed, decentralized graph. I warned you from the start that it was going to get quite heavy, and I've had to skip over a lot of details to keep this at a high level. But the good news is that whilst the concept of decentralization is quite a big thing to get your head around, in principle, implementing it is not. You simply ask all of your applications to publish their data in three-part statements and then to link to each other. Getting your internal data market running smoothly may well be more nuanced, but the reward is great. A single point of access into a clean and connected graph of all of your company's data. Think about it. That is potentially a very powerful thing.